Hey! Yeah, you! What? You want some gear? My mom said I'm not taking drugs with strangers. No! Not that kind of gear. I'm talking TP4056. TP4056! <laughs> Thank God we didn't tell him about the 18650 discharges. <laughs> Whoa. Come with real, it's the next episode. Well, welcome back. I'm going to go through how we set up our 18650 recovery. The setup we've got is very simple. Basically, we'll take the batteries out of the packs and we actually bought some packs prior to buying our 18650 mountain. And this was just to warm up and see what we uh, need to do regarding this setup. I think the start of the show for us is that we've bought these little TP4056 chipsets. They're great little chipsets because what they do is they actually charge the batteries properly. Now, I'm not going to get too much into the technical of how it works to show you the bar graphs because there's plenty of information on the internet, on YouTube, and I implore you to go and uh, have a look at that. But the way that it works is that it runs off a five volt power supply. They charge at one amp, they charge a cell one at a time. Now, if the cell is below its nominal voltage, which could be 2.4 volts, it will put in a low current just to encourage it to get to where it should be. And once it gets to where it needs to be, then it will ramp up the ampage to one amp and take it to its peak. As soon as it gets to its voltage set it will then completely cut off the power supply and it's then charged and I think the one of the best things about the TP4056 chipset is that it doesn't charge you up to the full 4.2 volts it'll charge you up to 4.1 or 4.16 and because it keeps a tolerance below that I think it's about 10% or 5% which I think is safer for the battery be running at not at full so if you run it at less it means the battery will last longer now once the battery is charged it needs to be tested for its capacity now I've got two two IMAX B6 discharges here so it's a little bit slow running but I've also got nine TP4056 charging at, at one time. So the way that we work is that what we'll do is we'll charge up the batteries. Once the battery is charged we'll put it into its box which is ready for capacity testing. So once they're charged um, and they're in the box for uh, capacity testing we're going to put them onto these IMAX B6 AC testers. Um, we'll plug them in, we'll set it up for discharge. It'll discharge at one amp, it'll take about two hours. And once it does that, it bleeps. And I think this one bleeped earlier. And it's telling me that I've got 1,998 milliamp hours from this battery. Well, then we'll write down 1,998. And once that's written down, that gets taken off. and gets put into the recharge box. Uh, a lot of people don't recharge them, but I think that we have to check to see if it can hold voltage over a certain amount of time. So we'll put it back on the TP4056 chipsets, recharge it, check the voltage, write it down, and then put it away into its uh, into its grouped box. Now the boxes we've got here is we've grouped them into 500 to 1000, and then incremented it every 100. So we've got a, a 1000 to 1100, 1100 to 1200, and so on until I get to 2000. And in those boxes, I will put those batteries that are in that value, I'll put them in these boxes for testing later. Okay, so the process is very simple. You charge the batteries, you discharge them to find the capacity, you recharge them, and then you store them in their appropriate boxes, and you repeat again. Charge, discharge, recharge, store. Charge, discharge, recharge, store. Charge this charge recharge so 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 and we have to get through this box over here which is actually a box that we bought ages ago just to see what the process is before we can attack the 18650 mountain well that's going to take forever dad i think we need more discharges in tp 456s well it's funny you should say that i happened to come across them today bet you don't ask <laughs> 